sometimes you're just exhausted. I literally just want to do nothing. I just, I don't want to do anything. Hey you, it's Kyla Lou, and how are you doing today, my friend? Now, today's video is gonna be quite a bit different than my normal content, and I went back and forth if I should actually create this video, but at the end of the day, I felt really inspired to make this and decided to put aside the pressure of creating videos that can rank in search and blah, 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 and really create a video for you guys from my heart. Now, I'm not gonna lie, these past couple days have been pretty challenging for me, and it's not like anything big happened in particular, but I can imagine it's a combination of a bunch of little things. And it's really interesting because here in America, just recently, we celebrated Thanksgiving. And that's the day that you're supposed to be extra grateful for everything that you have. And on that day and the few days afterwards, I found myself feeling more alone and down than I have in a while. I really wanted to come on here and be vulnerable with you guys because I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who are also going through hard times and are maybe feeling unmotivated, frustrated, burnt out. And I know I also create a lot of videos here on my channel geared towards entrepreneurs and those who are starting their own businesses online. And that can be an extremely hard and lonely journey. And I wanted to be able to use my platform to share with you guys some of the things that I've done through this time that will hopefully help some of you guys as well. Number one is taking time to feel. When times get hard and I'm not feeling my best, I often find myself just trying to push through and ignore the fact that I'm hurting, ignore the fact that I'm upset, and maybe you guys do this same thing too, but just because you close your eyes, doesn't mean it's not there. You need to take time with yourself to feel those emotions. And I will often give myself like a time limit, like for the next 20 minutes, I'm gonna feel sad, I'm gonna feel unmotivated, I'm gonna feel frustrated. And that doesn't mean that after that time is up that I might not feel that way, but when I commit to that time, that means I'm gonna feel that emotion to the fullest. I want you guys to imagine that your emotions are like a pot of boiling water. And if you just let it simmer, it's affecting you, but nothing is being done about it. We need to feel those emotions to the fullest so we can let that pot boil over and we can get back to a neutral state. And then we need to be ready to replace those emotions that we were feeling and experiencing with new ones that we wanna feel. I actually learned this concept as a young ballroom dancer. And for example, on competition days, things would go wrong and I would think, just don't be upset. But in order to be successful in feeling a different way, you need another emotion to replace it with because just saying, don't be upset, doesn't actually do anything. So there I was the day after Thanksgiving having a pretty solid cry, I'm not gonna lie. And I told myself that after 20 minutes, I was gonna replace the sadness that I felt with powerful. That was the word that came to mind, powerful. And I started thinking of all the moments in the past that I had felt powerful. And I started imagining those scenarios I started thinking about powerful people that I look up to, and I even started to breathe how I imagine powerful people breathe in order to help get me into that state. And I know this might sound pretty deep, but being able to talk about our emotions and how to manage our emotions, you are in control and you get to decide how you feel. But remember, take time to feel. Don't ignore those hard emotions to feel, the sadness, the frustration, feeling down, burnt out, right? All of those are really important emotions and we need to be able to take time to feel those to the fullest, but then we're ready. We don't wanna live in that state. We need to be able to replace it with another emotion that's gonna help us keep moving forward. Now, the second thing that I've been doing is starting my day 
with positivity. Now, I am not here to give you advice on the perfect, most beautiful morning routine because in all reality, that's not me. I wake up having hit snooze a couple of times, roll out of bed, eat a bowl of cereal, put on sweats that I've been wearing for the past three days, hop on my computer and get to work. But one thing that I have started to add into my routine these past couple days is taking a few moments in the morning to be positive and loving towards myself. You may have heard people talk about positive affirmations and saying things that make you feel great. And those, those are awesome, those are great. But I added my own little twist on to them because just looking at the mirror and saying things to myself just made me feel really weird and awkward and kind of had the opposite effect of what positive affirmations are supposed to have. But what I actually went and did is I found a song that makes me feel amazing. I love what the lyrics are saying. And every morning I'll just go and play that song and listen to it. I'll sometimes mouth the lyrics, but literally just taking those few moments in the morning, the song's not really long, like maybe three minutes or less. And just taking those few moments in the morning to be really positive and loving towards myself. Now, the song that I've been listening to these past couple days is the song I Am Woman by Emmy Melly. I think that's how you say her last name. I'm probably butchering it completely, but I found that song off of TikTok. Thank you, TikTok. But really, I just love the lyrics. I love the way the song makes me feel. And so that's something I would encourage you guys to do is go if saying positive affirmations doesn't work for you, then great, go and find a song that makes you feel amazing or go find a video that you can watch just really quick in the mornings that just help you feel those positive and loving vibes towards yourself. And it's just a great way to start your day. It doesn't need to be anything crazy, but just those few little moments can really impact how you feel the rest of the day. And I wanted to note just really quick, like if you do it one day and you don't feel anything different, that's okay. For me, it definitely took doing that for a whole week before I started to actually feel better and excited to start my day. So give yourself time, give yourself the grace that you need, but getting into that habit every morning really made a big difference for me. Now, the third tip that I have for you guys is change things up on your phone. Now, we've heard everybody and their dogs say, you know, spending less time on your phone is gonna be better for your mental health, and here's the best times to log off from your phone so you can sleep better, etc. and I 100% agree with all of those things. But for most people, quitting cold turkey from their phone is really, really challenging and is something that is often not sustainable. And I use my phone a lot for business, but I also do find myself hopping on a social media and spending a lot of time being interested in other people's lives than I am in my own. And one thing that I found really helpful was I just went and rearranged where the apps were on my phone. So I didn't go and delete the apps and I didn't go and throw away my phone, but I don't know if you guys have had this experience, but you log onto your phone and you automatically know where those apps are that you spend the most time on, where you know YouTube is and Instagram, and you just automatically, almost without thinking, click on those apps, open it, and start scrolling. And so for me, every couple of weeks, I'll go and just rearrange where my apps are at. And when I log onto my phone, it kind of makes me do a second take, because I'm like, oh, wait, the app's not there and I have to actually kind of like search for it. And it makes me stop for a second and then go, okay, wait, do I actually really want to be on social media right now? And it brings me back so it's not just a mindless habit and it's something that I am consciously doing. Now, the fourth tip that I have for you guys is let yourself rest. And oh my gosh, I have such a hard time with this one. Remove any and all pressure to be or do anything. Stop putting pressure on yourself and realize you're feeling down or depleted for a reason. And you need to let your mind and your body recuperate. When you are sick, it's really interesting because all you can do is nothing, AKA rest, because your body is fighting hard for you. And the good news is your body already knows what to do. So just sit back and allow your body to fix and heal itself. Our bodies are pretty cool. And the last tip that I have for you guys and one of the things that I've done over this time to try and help me rest and recuperate and get back to the place where I want to be, which is productive and doing all of those good things, is changing your environment. Now, this is going to be different for every single person, but your environment plays a big part into how you feel. If changing your environment means something as drastic as painting an entire wall in your house or even moving to a new apartment, 
It can also be as simple as adding a new plant into your kitchen or hanging up a picture that makes you smile or even going on a walk around your house or deeper into nature provides an instant refresh. One of the things that we did here in our small apartment was we actually rearranged some of our furniture and that alone made such a difference and brought some new life into our apartment. My friends, yes, I'm talking to you. Doing nothing is okay. It's okay to be gentle with yourself. It's okay to give yourself the space you need to breathe. And just remember this, you can't go and help other people if you don't help yourself first. When you go and fly, and in the case of an emergency, they always tell you to put your own oxygen mask on first before helping your neighbor. And that applies so perfectly to life. Thankfully, there are so many things out there that you can do to allow yourself to rest and get you back into that place where you're feeling confident in yourself and you love yourself. Hopefully these few tips have helped some of you guys out today because they've, they've really helped me out in these hard times. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you take the time to comment down below your thoughts. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you and I will catch you on the next video. Bye dudes.